In January of 2011, undercover investigators went into Planned Parenthood of Central New Jersey, posing as a pimp and his prostitute. Sex trafficking of minors is a federal crime and punishable by imprisonment for 10 years to life. Any person who aids, abets, or counsels a federal crime to be committed may be punished as if they had committed the crime themselves. The pimp was greeted by the clinic manager, Amy Woodruff. The pimp asked Planned Parenthood to help him provide secret abortions and birth control for his underage sex slaves. Will Planned Parenthood comply with the law? Help the pimp cover up his sex abuse of underage girls and become a partner in crime? So we want to make it look as legit as possible. If they're minors, just tell them to put down that they're students. Oh. My partner in crime. Offer the pimp advice on how to run his business. How many still got work. Work, you know? Yeah, um, waist up, waist up. Okay. Or just be that extra action walking by. And there's some girls that we managed that uh, we're not quite sure if I got it from one of them. Okay. All right, so they might need to come in here mm -hmm. and get tested as well. Do you yeah, guys well. provide yeah, services so, for that? <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> so for women, we have two options. We can either do a full GYN exam. So that would then involve the breast exam, the pelvic exam, pass oh, stuff like that. Cool. And then we can also do the FCD testing at that part. And then that way, if they're having any issues that need actual further looking into, yeah, yeah, yeah. that can be taken care of at that point in time. Now, the thing is, um, okay, so some of them are like, uh, some of them are young, they're kind of like, some of like 15, 14, mm -hmm. and some of them don't speak any English, okay. you know, because they're not even from here, so it's like, how can they come in here, because they don't always feel comfortable coming mm -hmm. into facilities. One, minors are always accepted without parental consent. Okay. The okay. only thing that you do have to be careful is if they are a minor, we are obligated if we hear any certain information okay. to okay. kind of report. So the first thing with that is yeah. what if they do speak English or even Spanish? Yeah, it doesn't, yeah, matter, what yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't yeah, matter what they yeah, speak. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't matter what they speak. If we're going to have to have it translated, they just have to be aware that they have to be careful with what if you know, I'm, I'm not kind of like leading in. I don't so want to get anybody how would in trouble. You, I know, it's fine. How, how would just, you recommend, um, like, because you want them to get the help. So well, exactly. how would you, to get what the would help. you recommend? Exactly. But so mainly, like, on the paperwork, there's going to be a point that asks, um, you know, like, are you sexually active, stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. If they're under a certain age, and we're kind of, you know, me and my other counselor, like, for the most part, we want as little information as possible. We want as little information as possible because we're not going to get involved in anything. <laughs> Excuse my word. No, that's cool. Once we get, once we get to the nurse practitioner, she's a little bit more anal, so she likes to kind of dig, dig a little bit more. So how old is your partner? Oh. You know, that kind of stuff. Oh. So that's where, you know, so even if they lie, just say, oh, he's the same age as me, 15. You know, so like if they're 15, it, it's just like mainly 14 and under we have to doesn't matter if their partner's the same age, younger, whatever. 14 and under, we have to report. 14 under. That includes being 14. Right? Yeah, yeah okay. 14, you know, once they get to 15, then there's a little bit more playroom. So as long as they just lie and say, oh, he's 15, 16, you know, yeah. as long as they don't say 14, and as long as it's not too much of an age gap, then we just kind of like, then we just kind of play. What if they do say they're 14, can Well, you know, then from there, it, it's just really watching what they say. But what if they need an abortion, though? Oh, that's a con that's a completely different story now. Oh. Now, if they're part now, okay. this is more no, just for testing the stuff. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, uh, we need to know. They, yeah, if they yeah. come in for pregnancy testing, um, at that point, it still needs to be. You never got this from me, just to make all of our lives easier. Okay. If they're fourteen yeah. and under. Yeah. Just send them right there if they need an abortion. <laughs> okay. Let them this do is it. The spot. Okay. Yeah. I mean, will they ask okay. questions um, or anything? Do they need ID or something? They, they won't need ID. Then they're going to be a little bit more different, but their protocols aren't as strict as ours and they don't get audited the okay. same way that Take them to we the, do, like with the trunk. So pregnancy, 14. Medical like, uh, this is for 14 and under. 
Okay. okay. Once they hit 15, it's kind of a whole it's, different like oh, playing okay. field with okay. the age and New Jersey guidelines. You know what? I want to see. Let me get you guys a copy of this too. Okay. Yeah. Before, let me just do that now before I get sidetracked. This is actually just a minor's rights. This way you guys have a copy of oh, this. Oh, good. And so and you already kind of know before yeah, you get okay. into any situation, like, oh, all right. Okay, no, let's not do this way. Let's go this way. You know that kind oh of stuff. Oh, my God. Hang on one second. I use this as my Bible. <laughs> okay, there you go. I, I still That's your Bible. Saying, all right. No matter what you do, you can have so many parents. And I mean, like, you understand where you're coming from, but it's like, oh, but she's a minor. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so. <laughs> hey. She still needs to be sick. It, it, yeah, exactly. You know. Like, you know, she's still entitled to care without mom knowing what the hell's going on. So, exactly. all right, so for pregnancy, 14 and under, just go so straight the there. Just okay. Keep us out of the loop because. Yeah. <laughs> keep us out of the loop because. Yeah. <laughs> you I mean, know, you gotta, exactly. Yeah. Now, oh, are most of them, like when you that. say they don't speak English, do they at least speak Spanish? Uh, some of them are, like, Asian. A like, oh, okay. You know. um, no matter what, we do have access to, like, telephone translators. Okay. So, okay. if they don't speak English or Spanish, we can make do. You, you so, know, we'll you can do yeah, well, we, you know, preferably more with the STD testing and the pregnancy testing. Only because once we get to exams... Not only do they, then they have to translate while we're in here, yeah. then there's like no communication in the exam room, and then they, uh, we need the translator yeah. for that, you know, so, it's or even if they can bring somebody who would translate for them, you know, that would be great too. Yeah. But that's, Okay. Now, what about birth control for them? Can we get all of that? How would you yeah. recommend we go about that? Um, that, they would need to make an appointment for the full exam. Okay. And they come in and we just take it from there. Is there any difference mm -hmm. between the ones that are like 15 or 14? Will, they, will there be anything um, no, different no, that they, they need to... No, no. So the only thing is the fees are cheaper. Oh. Yeah, what, what yeah. are Because we go on a sliding cool. scale fee depending yeah. on income and family size. Okay. Um, 19 and under, here's the thing too. If they're minors, just tell them to put down that they're students. Just students. Yeah, just kind of put them along that they're students. We want to make it look as legit as possible. Yeah, we want to make so it look legit. So say that they're students, and then as long as they're 19 and under, they go into what we call like the student fee scale. Yeah. So they're paying the lowest price. See, because we might need to just get them in here as soon as they get in here, you know, from our country, why not just get them checked out immediately? Mm -hmm. You know, that way we know ahead of time. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm assuming most of them were coming in illegally, right? So it's yeah, not so like they're, they're getting pre-tested the, exactly, beforehand. Yeah, exactly. we're not going to have their and, yeah, and we don't do, um, you know, immigrants welcome. We, yeah. we don't require social, you know. Cool, they, cool. Do we, we try to keep everything as confidential, you know, everything as possible. The yeah, only yeah, stuff yeah. that ever gets shared is, like, with the State Department, you know, positive results and stuff. Oh, like okay. Like oh, okay, okay, yeah. okay, okay. So yeah, for just saying. the results. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, we don't even care about them at that point. We just want the information but Exactly. Okay. <coughs> so, okay, so the girls are coming in. You can probably come in with the girls. Yeah, we can come and, uh, yeah. Like the birth control just so and the testing. More, you know, you yeah. just say, like, oh, this is a friend, you know. And as it is, it's like, most of the time I'm the one here. Oh, you okay. might occasionally okay. get... Do you, do, you have, do you have a call? Yeah, well, you know, yeah. and I'm the office manager here, so, you know, any questions you guys just let me know. Um... But for the most part, I'm usually the one doing most of the interviewing before they go back to the exam. Okay, so, so like, I know Occasionally, me, yeah. exactly. Occasionally, I do have somebody like, you know, who's helping out and floating out. I might have an extra person. So you might end up getting somebody else, but, you, you know. I, yeah, I'm sure it'll be fine. Like, you know, it, if, I'm, if I'm comfortable with you, it, then exactly. you, know, and you just kind of. Yeah. So the whole thing is like, with me, we already know. I see you, we already know we're going to kind of alter the story and yeah. kind of see what we can do to kind of tweak information. Yeah, yeah. you can. So, and if there's ever anything when they're filling out the paperwork that you're questionable, for the most part, we kind of harass you at the front desk. You left this blank, you left this blank. Uh -huh. yeah. You just be like, oh, well, I want to wait until I talk to the nurse. And that's fine. Oh, okay. Because then you just say, I don't understand. Yeah. Who's the nurse practitioner? a very good woman clinically Yeah. between the three of us because we're already cool. Yeah. We hate her. But, but that's why you come and you ask for me only. Okay. Corinne is my right hand. She's the one that was at the desk that you spoke to with the dark mm -hmm. hair. You okay. Know. Cor so, you, you know, but yeah. if I'm not available, you just say, hey, listen, I know Amy, you know, just have her give me a call no, back. No, you know, we'll she's, okay. Yeah. 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 Corinne seems she's, cool. Yeah, she's, 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 she's cool. my partner in crime and we try uh, to do the best that we can. And then a uh, question: mm -hmm. If if it comes down that they do need an abortion, how long to like can they actually act again? Ah, uh, minimum two weeks. Minimum two weeks. Mm. Minimum two weeks. Do you, do you maybe have any suggestions about what else they could do? Cause 
I mean, they still got work. money, you know? Yeah. Uh, waist up. Waist uh, up. Waist up. Okay. Or just be that extra action walking by. We might just need to... Anyway, we could just, like, streamline this, like, holla at you, slide you a little, we can, we you can know, try depending and you can on just the, get them streamlined. Depending on what the situation is, yeah. we might be able to do that. So, yeah, so, yeah, so and then if you can, you hit me up, if, if you can give me a couple days notice, no, too, we'll, we got then you. that way I can even have it set up. You can have it all set up, streamlined. 